Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the rebar command in Revit 2016. Here I, have, here I am in Revit with a standard um, concrete column and beam connect um, design. And what I'd like to do is place some rebar in the column. I can either go to the systems tab, I'm sorry, the structure tab, and go to reinforcement and pick any one of these to work with. Or I can just select the column that I want to work with. When I do this, you can see that I have the rebar reinforcement command here. I can select it and it will default to tell you that you have hooks are included as well. You have the rebar shape browser that shows up by default. If it doesn't, you can click this three little dots in the options toolbar to bring it back up. You can either go here and scroll and look for one that you want to. For example, say this one. Mm, about this one. And or you can go here in the um, drop down list in the options toolbar. When you're placing it, you can either place it parallel to the work plane, as in parallel this way, uh, parallel to the cover, or perpendicular to the cover. And as you hover your mouse over the column, depending on which edge that you're um, placing your cursor on will help you determine how it's going to appear. So for example, if I place it on the vertical edges, it looks like this. I place it on the horizontal, horizontal edges, it looks like this. So in this design, we want to place it this way so it stacks up. <clears throat> we have layout. It can be single, fixed number, max spacing, so on and so forth. I'm going to put in a max spacing of 6 inches. And as you can see, it automatically wants to put it in. Click it to place it. Hit the modify, and you're finished with the command. If I select it, you can scroll down, and you can see that it's going to the very, very edges of the rebar cover, which is the default design. <clears throat> You can click these arrows to pull it up or down. And if you go past it, um, you're going to have a design error. So be very careful about that, even though you have the ability to go past it. Okay, And so you're automatically putting in the rebar design like this. If I look at this in 3D, this is what it looks like. If I go to shaded, I can't see it. If I go to hidden line, I can't see it. If I go to wireframe, I can see it. If I select the rebar. You can go over to visibility um, settings in the properties, click edit, and you can change how it appears. For example, show it to me as solid in the 3D views and the analytic photo as well and unobscured. You can change this level of detail from coarse to medium or to fine. If you switch it to fine, you can see what it looks like here. Now even if I shade it, I can still see the rebars because I've specified that override visibility state. Let's go back to wireframe. Um, and if you go back to the elevation view, this is what you're going to get. Uh, let's select that again. Let's click rebar and let's go up and pick this one. And we'll place it parallel to the work plane. And this time we'll place it as fixed number and we'll say and we'll put it there. Now, if you want it to be, you know, consistent, you can select that and you can mirror it off the center of the column grid. Now, if we look at it in 3D, we see what it looks like like this. Again, you have to select the column, select the rebar. Use SA to select all of them if you need to. Click Edit and go ahead and do view, visit, view a solid and unobscured again. Now you can see those as well, shade it up, and now you're starting to put rebar. <clears throat> this is the process. It takes a little while, but at the end of the day, you can create the rebar that you need uh, within the column. And the same design functionality goes with the beams. And that's it. That's uh, the standard rebar command in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.